Hello, I'm Bishop Paul of the Reformed Old Catholic Church Diocese of South Australia. Today is the Monday of week two in Ordinary Time. And I'd like to share with you today the readings from today's Mass, starting with the Collect, Almighty and ever-living God, who govern all things, both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace on our times. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The first reading today is from the first book of the prophet Samuel. Samuel said to Saul, Stop, let me tell you what the Lord said to me last night. Saul said, Tell me, Samuel. Samuel continued, Small as you may be in your own eyes, are you not the head of the tribes of Israel? The Lord has anointed you king over Israel. The Lord sent you on a mission and said to you, Go, put these sinners, the Amalekites, under the band and make war on them until they are exterminated. Why then did you not obey the voice of the Lord? Why did you fall on the booty and do what is displeasing to the Lord? Saul replied to Samuel, But I did obey the voice of the Lord. I went on the mission which the Lord gave me. I brought back Agag, king of the Amalekites. I put the Amalekites under the ban. From the booty the people took the best sheep and oxen of what was under the ban to sacrifice them to the Lord your God at Gilgad. But Samuel replied, Is the pleasure of the Lord in holocausts and sacrifices or in obedience to the voice of the Lord? Yes, obedience is better than sacrifice. Submissiveness better than the fat of the rams. Rebellion is a sin of sorcery, a presumption, a crime of teraphim. Since you have rejected the word of the Lord, he has rejected you as king. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Gospel reading today is taken from the Gospel according to St. Mark. One day when G John's disciples and the Pharisees were fasting, some people came to Jesus and said to him, Why is it that John's disciples and the disciples of the Pharisees fast, but your disciples do not? Jesus replied, Surely the bridegroom's attendants would never think of fasting while the bridegroom is still with them. As long as they have the bridegroom with them, they could not think of fasting. But the time will come for the bridegroom to be taken away from them, and then, on that day, they will fast. No one sews a piece of unshrunken cloth on an old coat. If he does, the patch pulls away from it, the new from the old, and tear gets, gets worse. And nobody puts new wine into old wineskins. If he does, the wine will burst the skins, and the wine is lost in the skins too. No, new wine, fresh skins. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. Lord Jesus Christ. Both readings today from the Old Testament and the New have some interesting points. Because of the tradition of fasting with John's disciples and the disciples of the Pharisees, Jesus was questioned, why don't your disciples do this? And of course he said to them, while the bridegroom, that is Christ, is with them, why should they fast? You don't fast at a wedding feast. 
But he did say that when the bridegroom is taken away, they will then fast. And of course the other examples he gave was about the unshrunken cloth which is sewn on to an old coat. Because what will happen? The older the unshrunken cloth becomes, it draws in, pulls in and bursts the stitches from the coat. Same with the wineskins. If you put new wine in old skins, the reaction is that the skins will burst. What does that mean? The old tradition has been taken away with Christ. We as Christians, yes, do we, we do have our time for praying and fasting. But the tradition is different now to what it used to be. We have new commandments too. And of course we read in the Old Testament reading, I think the last few lines is very relevant from Samuel. Is the pleasure of the Lord in holocausts and sacrifices or in obedience to the voice of the Lord? The old tradition was to sacrifice. But here is saying obedience to the voice of the Lord. Yes, obedience is better than sacrifice. Submissiveness better than fat of the rams. Rebellion is a sin of sorcery, presumption a crime of teraphim. We are taught now in, as Christians that it is much better for us to be obedient to Jesus, to the new covenant, than it is to the old. We are people of the new covenant, not the old. Not the old. We learn from that old testament, but we must be children of the new. The traditions of the Old Testament are good to, for us to note, to read, to better understand, to be able to understand the teachings of Jesus and the Apostles. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord his face, let his face shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord uncover his face to you and bring you peace. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go now to love and serve the Lord. Amen.